Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Geekta. Today we will be solving a problem from SBA PO 2020 question paper. Study the given information carefully and answer the questions that follow. The table given below shows the capacity of 5 buses A, B, C, D, E and the percentage of seats that were filled out of the total seating capacity of the buses. So this is the bus name, total seating capacity and the percentage of seats filled. Some of the data is missing and is denoted as NA, not available. So the data is not available for bus D and E. Note. The total number of vacant seats in all the five buses together were 40 and the number of seats in buses D and E together were 65. So, first let's find the data for D and E. So, here it is bus, total seats, filled seats and vacant seats. So, for the bus A, the total seat here is 20 whereas 60% is filled which means 6 times 2 is 12. So, the vacant seat is 20 minus 12. Total seats minus the filled seats which is 8. Now, for bus B, total seats available is 30. Out of this 30, 80% is filled which is 8 times 3 is 24. And 30 minus 24 is 6. And for bus C, total seating capacity is 15. Out of this 15, 60% seat is filled which is 15 times 60 by 100. 0, 0 gets cancelled and simplifying this answer will be 9. And the difference is 15 minus 9 is 6. So, the vacant seats available in bus C is 6. For bus D, the total seating capacity is not available. So, which is, you can take it as X or D anything. And the percentage of seats filled here is 70 percentage. Which means remaining 30 percentage of the seats of total seats D is vacant. And for bus E, again, the total seats capacity is not available which is I am taking it as E. You can take it as X, Y, anything is fine. 6, 6 percentage is filled which means it can be rounded off to 67 percentage and vacant seat will be like remaining 33 percent which is 100 minus 67 is 33 percent of seats which is E. Now from the note here, the total number of vacant seat in all the 5 buses together this total, back, total number of vacant seats in all these 5 buses together is 40, which means for bus A, B, C, it is 8 plus 6 plus 6 is 20. So, the remaining 20 seats will be from 30% of D plus 33% of E. From B, the number of seats and buses D and E together, the total seats from D and E is 65. So, which is D plus E equals 65 and 30% of D plus 33% of E equals 20, which is 30% 30 is 30 by 100 of us times D plus 33% is 33 by 100 of us times E equals 20. So, this can be simplified as 3 by 10 D plus 33 by 100 is 1 by 3 E equals 20. This is approximately which is 33 1 times is 33 and 33 3 times is 99 and so the LCM is for 10 and 3 is 30. So 10 3 times is 30, 3 times 3 is 9D plus 3 10 times is 30, 10 times 1 is 10E equals 20. So which is 9D plus 10E equals 30 times 20 is 600. First equation here is D plus E equals 65. Now to simplify this, to find the value of D and E, we can either multiply by 9 or 10. Any time is fine. But I am using 10 here as it will be easier. So multiply this entire equation by 10. So which is 10D plus 10E equals 650. 65 times 10 is 650. And this equation which is 9D plus 10E equals 600. Changing the signs, we are going to cancel this which is plus is changed as minus, minus and minus. So, cancelling this E terms which is D. 10 minus 9 is D. 1 D equals 650 minus 600 is 50. So, which means D is equals 50. Now, substitute this D in any of these equations. I am going to substitute in this equation which is D plus E equals 65. So, which is D is 50. 50 plus E equals 65. So, 50 goes on the other side which means E equals 65 minus 50 becomes 50. So, now we know the value D and E. So, substitute this values here which is D equals 50 and E equals 15. So, 70% of 50 is 
35 and E is 15 and 67% of 15 is 10. So now the remaining 30% of D is 50 minus 35 or you can directly do as 30% of 15. Anything is fine by which it is. This is 15 and this is 33% of 15 or 15 minus 10 is 5. Now we will be solving 65th problem from SBA PO 2020 question paper. What was the difference between the number of vacant seats in bus C and the number of filled seats in bus D? So from the data we have number of vacant seats in bus C is 6. Since they are asking for difference it's minus and the number of filled seats in bus D. Filled seats in bus D is 35. So 35 minus 6 is 29. So the difference is 29 but we don't have the answer here so the answer is none of this. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts please let me know in the comments.